Hey there wrestling fans, we're with Legacy back at you with another video. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit. Um, you know, I did my, uh, my, uh, you know, my new series, you know, doing, uh, posting up music covers and stuff, so I don't know if you guys have seen that, but, uh, you know, if you haven't checked that out, it, uh, there's a play, uh, there is a playlist, it's called, uh, Music Slash, uh, Covers, I believe is what it is. Uh, and, you know, if you, if you want to watch it, um, go for it. If not, that's fine too. If you just want to watch uh, my other content, like wrestling or whatever you're into, in this channel, you know I'm cool with that. Uh, you know I've kind of been away for a little bit. Um, you know I kind of had to get a new futon. Uh, the other one, you know, was just it was absolutely destroyed. So I'm definitely this one's a lot more bigger. It's a lot more comfier, so it makes it a lot more easier to do videos and it makes me want to do more videos. So I'll be definitely getting more out here probably tonight. I'll probably be doing a few videos tonight. Um, yeah, but yeah, um, like I said, you know, I'd been away the past uh, week, you know, I, I was over at my cousin's, uh, doing some stuff, so I didn't really get to watch a whole lot of wrestling, actually really none at all, so basically, I just kind of been reading up on it, you know, kind of reading briefly on what happened on the shows, um, so I'm, I can't really do, like, a Raw or SmackDown review, because I don't really know a whole lot of what happened, I just, and I really don't know what happened on SmackDown, I just mainly kind of know what happened on Raw a little bit, you know, with Kevin Owens winning the Universal title, so I'm just, I'm going to get into that. Obviously, I can't do a Raw review because I don't know what happened, really, because I really just know about uh, the whole Kevin Owens thing because that was such a big, uh, big deal, so I'm going to get into that right now. You know, um, going into Raw, you know, I was definitely, you know, I'd, I'd read rumors and seen stuff on Twitter that there was going to be, that they were, that they were planning to go with Roman Reigns, and I was just like, man... Like, really? They're going with Roman Reigns again? You know, like, <laughs> the guy... The guy gets booed out of the building every week. He's not over, you know? he, And, you know, like I like I had seen and read, you know, Vince wasn't high on him anymore, and, like, nobody was high on him to be that guy anymore. And, like, he... And, like, the main card... Or the uh, mid-card was his place for right now until they would get him over. And, uh, you know, they kind of... They, kind of, they surprised me, you know, I thought it was going to be either uh, Seth Rollins or Reigns that was going to walk out with the video, and I was, or with the title, I should say, and, uh, you know, I was kind of leaning more, you know, more towards Reigns because of just what the rumors were going by, and, you know, you can't always trust the rumors, but sometimes they're right, but, you know, I kind of, I kind of took it with a grain of salt, but, you know, I, um, you know, reading it, I, it wasn't too hard to believe. You know, because I, I could have seen WWE doing something like that, giving Reigns the title back. You know, I could have seen them doing that, so they kind of made it easier to believe. But, you know, like I said, the stuff you read on the dirt sheets and stuff like that, you know, you can only take it with a grain of salt. And then, you know, in my heart, I wanted Seth Rollins to win. And, uh, you know, I wanted Kevin Owens to win, too, because I like Kevin Owens. And, uh, you know, uh, they went for a swerve there uh, when Triple H came out and uh, pedigreed Roman inside of the ring, and then uh, Seth got the cover. And, uh, you know, then it looked like uh, when Triple H got into the ring uh, that he was going to uh, pedigree Kevin Owens and give Seth Rollins the win, but no, there was a swerve there. And then, you know, Kevin or, uh, Triple H ends up pedigreeing uh, Seth Rollins. And then KO got the victory, you know. And, you know, on to Kevin Owens' title win, man. Um, it's definitely well deserved, you know. The guy's busted his ass for, like, what he's been up, he's been in the main roster for what, a year or so now, maybe two, a year and a half, something like that. So, you know, he's been busting his ass night in and night out doing what WWE has wanted him to do. Uh, you know, he's he's awesome in the ring. He can definitely move for a bigger guy, for sure. Uh, you know, his character is great. You know, he's not stale. And, you, you know, he, even when he's on commentary, I just, I love Kevin Owens on commentary. The way he'll, like, uh, You know the way he'll uh, call out Michael Cole or Bron Byron Saxon on one of the th on on different stuff. I always thought was hilarious. You know, I I've always just have I've been you know lately I've enjoyed the stuff that he's been doing with Jericho. I thought their stuff was great. You know, <laughs> calling uh, Tom Phillips different names every single week or like calling them different names like like I don't know they're like a few different names in like one uh, segment. You know, I always ever since Kevin Owens came up, I've always found him to be very entertaining, whether it's on the mic or in the ring, you know, he's awesome. So this is well-deserved, I'm definitely happy for it, 
for him uh, winning that title for sure. Uh, he definitely deserves it, and uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm happy for. Him. And I can't wait to see where this goes. It's it, it's exciting, you know. Sometimes you think WWE is going to go with one way, but they end up swerving and going with another. And you know that's what they did in this uh, in this match. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where it goes. Uh, I'm not sure who he would be feuding with for the title. For some reason, I was thinking Sami Zayn, but I don't quite think he, they're going to do that unless Sami Zayn somehow wins a. Uh, you know, a number one contenders match or something. I, I don't know if they're going to be going with Roman Reigns. I doubt it, you know. Looking at it now, I'm pretty sure he'll probably be still doing his feud with Rusev, you know, because they didn't really close that up yet. So I think with Reigns, they're going to be doing that. Uh, you know, with Seth Rollins, uh, I, I definitely think it's going to be a face turn for sure for Seth. Uh, you know, it's just, it, it makes sense, you know, with Triple H turning on him like that. I mean, I've wanted Seth to be a, to be a face ever since he turned ever since he uh, returned. But you know, like I had stated in previous videos, um, I know why they made him a heel just because it made sense. You know, when he got injured, he was a heel. So when it came back, it, when he came back, it only made sense for him to be a heel once again. And plus, he was feuding with two faces at the time. Like, even though Reigns wasn't over, he was still a face. And you know, Ambrose was a face, so it made sense for Seth to continue being a heel. But now that that feud's done and over with, they can turn Seth Rollins a face. And you know, the guy's over. Like, at least at least to me, uh, he's over, you know, every time, at least, and once again, this is at least to me, I barely hear any boos for Seth Rollins. I basically hear cheers for the guy. And, uh, you know, that's great. You know, Seth Rollins is one of my favorites. I think he's awesome. And, uh, you know, he gets a lot of hate from uh, from people, you know, and from legends and stuff, you know, calling him reckless and reckless in the ring and just, you know, not caring for the rest of his physical well-being. When you got to think about it, like the stuff with uh, Sting and uh, Finn Balor, you know, these guys know what they're getting into, you know, it, accidents happen in the ring, stuff, like moves can go wrong, you know, guys can land the wrong way than what they're supposed to, which was kind of the... Um, kind of the case for both of those guys, to be honest. Uh, so, you know, it's not Seth's, it's not Seth's fault. Uh, he shouldn't be blamed for their injuries. You know, it was just, it was, it was the way it happened. It, you know, it was the way they landed, I think. At least in Balor's case, I don't know if he could do that in Singh's case, but definitely in Balor's, because, you know, you watch him and he just, and he, and he put his arm up to protect his, uh, to protect his uh, his back or, or neck or whatever it was, I don't remember from hitting the barricade. But, and you know that's basically why his injury happened. But yeah, you can't you can't uh, you can't blame Seth for that. You know the guy the guy you know I've heard things I've heard people say the guy's reckless in the ring. I don't believe that at all. I think he's uh, he's probably one of the safest workers I've ever seen. You know he just he's kind of. You know, in, in matches, sometimes sometimes people fuck up in the ring. It's just how it is. See, so yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on those two things. You know, I think Triple H's return was pretty awesome. I'm glad I'm glad to see him back. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where that goes for sure. I'm thinking he'll probably be there'll probably be a feud with Seth or something like that. That's what I'm leaning towards. Um, you know, he may get a shot at Kevin Owens. I'm not really too sure. I guess, you know, we'll find out on Monday's Raw. Uh, you know, now that I've kind of talked about that, I kind of want to get into some news here, so... Basically, there's a little update on uh, NoDQ.com about Finn's injury. Uh, so, here it is. Uh, as previously reported, Finn Balor has, is, has suffered a torn uh, labrums in his match against Seth Rollins at, WWE Summer, at the WWE SummerSlam event and is expected to be out of action from eight to nine months. Uh, the initial diagnosis of Balor was that he could be out, he could be back in four to six months. However, once the doctors opened him up, uh, they discovered broken bones inside. Uh, while a Royal Rumble return has been pretty much uh, ruled out, we have been told that a return around WrestleMania 33 is a possibility. Uh, speaking of Balor, WWE has frequently provided uh, injury updates because the company wants to keep him as hot as possible while he's injured 
to continue pushing him when he when he returns. Uh, yeah, you know that sucks. Um, that really sucks to hear. You know, basically, when any big star uh, gets injured, you know, um, you know, you go back to '99, uh, back when Austin had to have his neck surgery and he was out for a little bit. You know, that really sucked. But you know, it kind of uh, it kind of gave. You know, it gave Triple H and The Rock a bigger stage to sign on or to shine on since Austin was out. And you know, you look back on, uh, you know, when John Cena got hurt, and then uh, there was another guy who got hurt too that I'm trying to think of. I can't remember his name right now. Um, and you know, and there was also Seth Rollins' injury too. You know, like it gave like these bigger guys that are in it, like these uh, bigger stars, I should say. That are in more bigger roles or roles, kind of gives a gives it a look, gives the other stars a bit more that may not be kind of in that upper echelon, you know, with those with the other guys, you know, a push, and it gives them a time to shine, you know, like with Kevin Owens, you know. I mean, it sucks for Finn Balor, you know. Um, you know, I was definitely looking forward to seeing what they were going to be doing with him. Um, but you know, it gives it gives Kevin Owens a, a well-deserved shot, which he uh, which he should which he needed. You know, and I heard that he was going to be feuding with Finn anyway. But you know, now it get, it gives him the universal title, and it gives him a chance to see, or it gives us and WWE a chance to see uh, what he can do. And everybody knows he's awesome. So you know, it definitely. It does suck for Finn for sure. I definitely hope he can pull a John Cena and a Seth Rollins and and a Triple H as well and just, you know, do rehab every day and heal that shoulder up and build it up, rebuild it back up and just and come back more faster than what's than what the than what the doctors say. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of an update on Finn Balor. Uh, and now there's an article about women's title plans and uh, Triple H's status for Raw, so I'm gonna get into that once again or one yeah now uh, so WWE has plans for Bailey to challenge Charlotte at the September 25th Clash of Champions event however Charlotte isn't expected to drop the women's championship uh, WWE wants to save Sasha Banks uh, to challenge Charlotte for the title as soon as possible or wants to have I should say uh, speaking of Sasha Banks uh, she could be back to WWE programming as soon as next week but definitely before the end of the month. As previously reported, Banks was given time off to heal her nagging injuries. So, that's interesting. Now, will Sasha Banks be wrestling? I guess we'll find out. Could they end up doing a triple threat at Clash of Champions? That's po I guess if Sasha Banks can go, then uh, it's definitely possible, but I guess we'll find out. And now I talk about Triple H's uh, status for Raw. Now, as seen on this past week's episode of Raw, Triple H made his return to WWE television to assist Kevin Owens in his WWE Universal Championship title win over Seth Rollins, Big Cass, and Roman Reigns. While Triple H isn't currently being advertised for Raw this upcoming week, we are told that he is expected to be there. Many would assume he would explain his actions as and to why he gave, his, gave the assist to Owens this past week. So it's unclear that uh, Triple H... It's unclear if Triple H will be on Raw or not, but um, he very well could be. If he's going to be there, he could be, and I think, you know, WWE should write him in. And, you know, kind of... It would it would make sense, you know, to have him on there and explain what, why he did what he did and everything. And, I, you know, I'm just... I'm kind of going to go through here now and just kind of see if there's anything else really interesting that I wanted to talk about on here. Um... Yeah, not really. Okay, yeah, there's nothing really else that really jumps out, out at me that I should talk about. Uh, I can't really comment on anything else, you know, basically, the most I know is about Kevin Owens winning the title. I don't really know too much else. Like I said, uh, I didn't watch Raw, I didn't watch SmackDown, didn't watch NXT, or the Cruiserweight Classic, I didn't, I didn't watch any wrestling. And, you know, thinking about it, you know, it was kind of a good thing, too, because I kind of felt burnt out for a little bit on wrestling, you know, after SummerSlam and, you know, NXT TakeOver and 
all that, so I kind of felt burnt out. But you know, I was disappointed because I missed that match. And I tried to look up, uh, I tried to look it up on YouTube, but there was just no good quality of the match that I could find. So, but you know, I'm sure WWE posts will have a or already does have a highlight video, so I'll probably check that out. Uh, you know, I heard it was an awesome match. So, but yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've kind of had my break from wrestling now, so. Now I'm going to be back at full force here. Uh, I'll be doing Raw reviews, uh, SmackDown reviews again. Maybe NXT if I can, if I can kind of keep my, uh, you know, uh, keep, uh, keep my uh, interest in it, you know. Like, obviously, I love NXT, you know, it's just with me, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta be in the mood for stuff sometimes. Even if it is wrestling. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a big fan and I love it, you know, I just... I gotta be in the mood for something sometimes. So sometimes I kind of put off watching NXT, but you know, anytime I've watched NXT, I've loved it. So you know, maybe I'll start doing NXT reviews. I guess uh, we'll see. I'm liking what they're doing down there for sure. Though. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna get out of here right now. Uh, I'll probably do a few more videos uh, on different stuff. Might stream uh, some WWE tonight. Uh, now I still have a pretty crappy mic, so you'll have to bear with me till I get another one. It'll be a uh, I think that it's the last week before uh, the NXT um, WLF Philly TakeOver Extreme Pay-Per-View, so it'll be definitely definitely interesting to see who wins the, uh, the tournament, um, if I do that tonight or tomorrow or whenever. So yeah, um, I'm kind of like, kind of rambling on here, so uh, anyway, if you like this video, uh, subscribe, comment, give a like, uh, let me know your thoughts on, uh, on what you think of Kevin Owens' title win or any other things that you find interesting and uh, you know I'll subscribe back to you if you've subscribed to me um, I'll reply back in the comments for sure and uh, yeah you know what that's pretty much all I gotta say right now and uh, I'll see you in the next one we were done